A video review of the courtyard Tokyo Station in Tokyo, Japan. In this video, I'll show you around the hotel, the neighborhood around the hotel, and one of the hotel rooms. The courtyard Tokyo Station Hotel occupies floors two through four of the Kyobashi Trust Tower, is underneath a big office building, conveniently located about a seven minute walk from the Tokyo Central train station. The courtyard is on the Yasu side of Tokyo Station. It's not out the main exit, the brick facade you saw earlier, but the Yasu side looks like this with the awning on the top. The Yasu entrance is very convenient to the Shinkansen tracks, which is Japan's bullet train. The Shinkansen tracks are right inside the Yasu entrance. However, the Yasu side is inconvenient for the Narita Express, the train from Narita Airport. That's on the other side of the train station, so allow an extra 10 minutes to walk between the Yasu side and the side where the Narita Express comes in. If you're looking for food options, head no further than the basement level of Tokyo Station. In the basement of the Yasu side is this shopping and food street. Uh, you can shop and eat to your heart's content down here. It's fairly easy to walk from Tokyo Station to the hotel. Specifically, you'll be going out the Yasu South exit, which is just to the left of this McDonald's. The sign above will say Yasu South entrance. Once you go out, you'll find this crosswalk. Turn left at this crosswalk, cross the street. Once you get to the other side, turn right. You'll see this bookstore. As Soon as you see this bookstore, turn left down the street that this bookstore is on. It's a street without any sidewalks on it. Go down this street two blocks and the hotel will be on your left. The hotel is located inside the Kyobashi Trust Tower. Look for these doors right next to the Lava Rock restaurant. Go inside, then you'll enter into the entrance lobby. The courtyard elevators are just to the left. The hotel is also directly across the street from Kyobashi Station on the Tokyo subway. It's on the Ginza line, just one stop from Ginza. A complimentary breakfast buffet is served for Gold and Platinum Marriott members in the Lava Rock restaurant. It was a pretty good American breakfast. They've got cooked to order eggs, pancakes, waffles. They have an interesting ordering mechanism. Each table has a little jar of these toothpicks with the table number on it. You take the toothpick with the number up to the front, place your order, and that's how they know what table to bring it to. Once you exit out the elevator onto the second and third guest room floor, you need to use your key card, which is an RFID key card, to open up the door to get into the hallways where the guest rooms are. The hallway here on the third floor is a long, multicolored, interestingly lit hallway. The fitness center is also on this floor, the third floor. It's a small fitness center. There's a couple treadmills, one bicycle, one elliptical, and a few weights in the back. And now that we're at the end of the hallway, let's check out the room I had, room 312. As a Platinum member, they gave us a very lovely welcome gift, a biscuit cookie that has the name of the hotel on it, and a collection of Japanese sweets. This is room 312. It is a corner twin room, which is the uh, biggest room in the hotel. Uh, as you come into this room, it has a very cute white cottage sort of feel to it. Uh, step inside and I'll show you around uh, the back part of the room. This is the part of the room that has the beds the furthest away from the door, so it looks like it should be nice and quiet, which is something that I really like in hotels. They're very nice white sheets. They give you some fancy uh, pajamas that you can wear. Maybe you'll, maybe you'll see me in these later. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. They have a clock on the nightstand, uh, which is a little uh, mechanical clock. That's kind of cute. Um, there's a couple little lights on the headboards. And then over this way is the closet. But before I open the closet, the closet is also where they keep the phone and the notepad of paper. Inside these two doors is the closet, a uh, little closet where the things actually hang out uh, this way instead of sideways. It also has an ironing board. There are a couple pairs of slippers and then an iron down there as well. Back into the main part of the room, there is a very chic lamp and also a flat panel television that's been mounted on the wall uh, so that you can watch the television over this way is a lovely two-person leather sofa with a neat glass coffee table in front. This is also in front of the window. Uh, this room is on the third floor. So if you look out here, you can see a nice little green area, some restaurants. There's a family mart out the window. A uh, little bit of Tokyo right here. Just to the right of that sofa, there's this lovely cabinet here. Uh, inside the cabinet is the in-room little tiny refrigerator uh, that they give you two complimentary bottles of water. There's also the safe up here. And then in this side, there are a couple of teacups for tea, and then there's a teapot down here with two water glasses. And the final part of the room, just to the uh, right of this mirrored pillar, is the in-room bathroom. It's behind this door and up this 
about one foot steps. This is the bathroom. Bathrooms are always the hardest part to show in hotel reviews because they're small. In Japan, they're even smaller. This is one of these cool modular Japanese bathrooms. Uh, it has a, a sink right here that's integrated into the toilet. There's uh, a number of bathroom supplies that are held in this little drawer right here. It has one of these fancy Toto Washlet Japanese toilets that uh, in addition to being a toilet also has a bidet so you can clean yourself afterwards. The bathtub and shower are integrated right behind me back here. There is a, a handheld and also a part uh, that goes into the tub. Ah, all right, well after a good night's sleep in my fancy Japanese pajamas, uh, post-morning report, uh, the sleeping in the room, uh, very good, the room was very quiet. The air conditioning was nice and cool. Um, one thing that I found slightly bizarre was uh, going to sleep. The light switches for the room are actually back here on this uh, nightstand. That's what controls the light here and also by the door. It took me about five minutes of hunting around the room to find these light switches. So if you stay here, look for the light switches on the nightstand. So if your travels take you to Tokyo, Japan, check out the Courtyard by Marriott Tokyo Station for a conveniently located and reasonably priced hotel. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Links are in the description below. Or you might enjoy watching one of these other videos about Japan. Click any of them to watch.